Sociopath Sibling Experiences According to Reddit Number 10 They can make drama out of any situation and will try to drag you into it even years later. Example I am the next to youngest. My whole family is a shit show, but when I was planning my wedding, I was still trying to pretend I had a reasonable family. My future husband's family was like, leave it to Beaver. Boy, we don't, come on now. Can't you extend your references to our generation? Couldn't you have used memes? So, I asked both of my sisters to be bridesmaids. I knew this was a risk, but I hoped that they would keep it together for a single evening. At the time, I believed that they had. About eight years later, we were in the same city because one of our brothers was in the hospital due to a bad car accident. We had one hotel room across the street from the hospital so people could go rest when they needed to. I was in that room with my oldest sister when she said, you know the middle sister stole wine glasses from your wedding, right? I told her I didn't care. A couple of hours later, I was in that room with my middle sister and she said, you know the older sister stole glasses from your wedding, right? I also told her that I didn't care. So here we are, waiting to see if our brother was going to die and both of these bitches are playing reindeer games with me, trying to make me be angry with the other one. <laughs> our brother lived and I've cut contact with all my siblings because they are all like this. They have to start shit no matter what the situation or the consequences. I mean, just have a bit of perspective, you know what I mean? Hey man, somebody out there hitting that broom broom. Oh, wow, they really hitting that broom broom. Oh my god. Whoa, overlay, you wanna calm down? I'm not playing a video game anymore, jeez. How is everybody tonight? Sorry if I'm not as up as I normally would be. <laughs> kind of tired. I can't lie to you. I am kind. I am quite a kind of tired. So hello to everybody in the chat. Um, Hope you stay amazing. Odie Jr., hello to you. Hello, Linda. Stripes, Dia, and hello to Alice. So, as we continue, we arrive at number nine. I want to have nothing to do with him and his family. My parents have not cut ties because they can't with him and it breaks my heart how he treats them. Well, that's pretty messed up. I should make people aware who are listening to this that this list extends to narcissistic people, you know, with disorders, because um, there is like a narcissist disorder where they're like incapable of, um, you know, feeling or, you know, it's pretty messed up but um narcissists sociopaths what was the other one uh psychopaths oh whoa that that should make this interesting people should ask people for like people who went off their meds stories grognak says i hate people with npd give us a story my man grognak give us a story number eight. Oh yeah my sister has never been diagnosed with narcissism or personality disorder other than OCD. But when we were younger, she often enjoyed telling people before I met them that I had a difficult relationship with the truth so that they wouldn't want to be around me. I had the reputation of a liar and no friends for most of my preteen years. She was popular in our homeschool group until she left and got into high school. After she left, I still didn't have friends, but neither did she, and she blamed me for it during her frequent temper tantrums. She would throw things, scream, cry, and threaten me with kitchen knives on a regular basis. All of a sudden, the year that I turned 17 and she turned 21, the tantrum stopped and she got engaged. Ladies, I've said this a billion times before, be as mad about it as you want to be, okay? 
But a lot of women can get away with being literally crazy, not figuratively, like, oh, you're just you're you're blowing things out of proportion. You're hanging on to things that are stupid. You're you're wrong and you're trying to die on that hill. You're trying to ride the sinking ship. I mean, they can literally be crazy and find men who are going to put up with that because woman, you know what I'm talking about? Because woman. And I'm sure that there are many women who put up with crazy dudes, too, but usually uh usually not in rivaling quantities dude it's a landslide victory for the crazy girls you know crazy ladies got a, a reputation you know where the guys will ask is it worth it sometimes you gotta wonder look at her i'm kidding he moved in with us the tantrum started again and for once i was not the target the worst fight that that had happened was when she caught him looking at a photo of a bikini model. Insecurity mode, engage. She, she considered this cheating. Nice. She hit him full force with an open palm. And when our mom saw, she threatened to kick her out if she hit him again. They got married, moved out, and divorced within a year of him enlisting in the army. Because you already know, she probably convinced him to join the army. So she could have the house to herself and biggity bang, biggity bang, biggity bang, biggity bang, bringing everybody tonight. Hey, I like the way you look when you deliver my mail, deliver my mail, deliver my mail. What is your name? I'm going to stalk you. I'm going to stalk you, bitch. She is going to stalk him, bitch. Hickey Gabby says, going to multitask shower while listening. I don't believe it. It's nice to see people's names in green. So thank you, Gabby. Money, 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 money. Sorry. I'm like trying to keep myself awake. <laughs> Tom Foolery says, how was your day, Kyle? It was a great day. I mean, thank you for asking. How was your day? I hope it went well. You deserve nothing but a great day. Hello to Estalion. Estalion. Guitar noodle love, nice, nice. <sighs> Seraphin Bear says, "Have you figured out the song yet? You mean the one with quotes from you guys?" Damn, thank you for that subscription, per Par Paris, Paris. There's two S's, so I think it's Paris. Grognak says, "One time I was drowning in a friend's pool and screamed to the pair, the parents, for help." They told me to shut up and left me there. I confronted them and they were mad because I embarrassed them. Ooh. <laughs> what do you say? Friggin' yikes, dude. I, you know, woof. Woof. Seraphim Bear says the one you were just singing. The money, 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 money song? What do you mean have I figured it out yet? What what is there to what is there to figure out? Striped piss says Kyle, can you solve my hunger? Yeah, I'll solve it in the basic way some some asshole would normally solve it and just go, why don't you just eat? Look, Seraphin, I don't even know what game you're playing here. This is getting alarming, you know? If I needed to know the name of the song and I didn't know it, what would stop me from just literally speaking into Google uh money 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 song and then having it immediately bring me to whatever the hell you know is this by the ojs yeah how'd i know that you know listen you know we're all on the internet right you know i'm not a i'm not a i'm not a i'm not a 70 year old person who's just like i i have something that i need to figure out but i just don't know how i'm not like a a facebooker or somebody that's calling IT, this is the second something goes wrong with my computer, uh, we we are on the internet, the search engines as we know it still work, and when I feel like getting my data tracked, you know, I'll just crack open a cold one with the boys, the cold one being a search on my, my least favorite search engines of choice, okay? JavaScript off, number seven. <laughs> Brother believes the world is his oyster, and that friends and family and loved ones are his to control and exploit. He told a girl that they are dating and she should buy him a car and take him out for dinner. Brother has also tried to burn down our childhood home thrice because the mom wanted, 
we were poor and he knew but he honestly believes that we can get what he wants or he can get what he wants because that's how it should be he also tried to sell my car and he still hounds me for that money he should have gotten if he sold it you know i'm not sure that i'm not sure that i i would be equipped to deal with that kind of crazy i, I you know i have a belief that even if people are crazy they have the capacity to understand that something is wrong you know even if they don't understand why it's wrong they possess the capacity to understand that for whatever reason it is wrong do you understand me so in a situation like this i believe public thorough and massive shame will put this little motherfucker in his place a lot of people who commit wrongdoings who will claim oh they don't understand why it's wrong or whatever they understand that they have to hide it so the fact that they have to hide it you know what i mean lets you know that they know that it's, it's not right what you mean he tried to sell your car and then he's like trying to he he's harassing you about the money that he would have got if he sold your car bitch shut up it ain't yours to sell you actually wasting breath you know what i mean I would be doing the world a service by ridding it, oh my god, ridding it of you. You out here wasting this air. Ooh, ooh. inhabiting this space. <laughs> Everything else could be here instead of you. Oh, boy, 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 number six, boy. Let's get out of this list. Lived an entire lifetime not being aware that it isn't normal to run to your bedroom and hide when dad gets home. That isn't normal to that it isn't normal to be scared of your parents' reactions to anything. And becoming a mom and having little kids that I just looked at and knew, I could never beat them up for picking a flower or shame them for not knowing how to hang a shelf or throw grubs at them if they came um if they came outside or throw potato salad at them if they say don't want any. It wasn't normal. And only just now am I realizing that. It's so sad that people live a life like this because they got monsters for parents and they don't know any other way. And the scariest thing about the world we live in perhaps may be that some parents have complete and utter unsupervised um, time with a child that they are going to thoroughly abuse um, and face no repercussion because they're just kids. And, you know, if they can either indoctrinate these children and teach them how to accept it as okay, if they can teach those children to shut up, or if they can just, you know, knock off whatever nonsense they're doing by the time the children reach an age where they recognize and learn that it's wrong, they'll get away with it. And that's sick. Because it's bad enough that, like, even, even when parents aren't abusing their children, that they're filling their head with nonsense that makes the world a worse place by extension because those kids go out and you know prophesy those kids go out and share that nonsense gospel in a capacity where it's like they don't know any better literally they don't know any better <sighs> it's killing me it's killing me to think about oh i'm sorry i wasn't looking at the chat so well Stripe says, my glasses keep flying off my face when I sing. <laughs> Imagine that. Get yourself a good visual image of that. Like she's just like flailing around like a wacky, wavy, inflatable arm flailing tube man. Or woman. While she's singing. <laughs> and she only sings Let It Go. <laughs> From the popular animated movie Cars. Let it go. Beep beep. Let it go. Honk honk. Me, 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 me. Here are my clown shoes. Grognak, they do. That's what makes them bad people. Estelle on social media kind of celebrates narcissism. Well, I wouldn't consider it a celebration of narcissism so much as a recognition and a platform for narcissists to harvest attention by way of exploiting themselves. So forgive me, it, it may sound like I was just using synonyms for what was said, but I think in reality, 
It's less a celebration of narcissism and more like a conditioning, a mass conditioning. And I may be getting too much into like, I don't mean to sound like an old man, but what you need to understand is um, the wisdom in social media is that many foolish attention seeking fucks have been tricked into throwing a considerable amount of their personal information onto it. You know, you want to share pictures of somewhere you went and shit that you're doing and oh, I look good today. You know, by all means, it's not going to hurt nobody. But some people live their life on social media in a way where it's like they never, they never stop updating where they are. They never stop tweeting what they're doing and they never stop sharing pictures of what's going on. And that's hilarious because they're choosing to volunteer that shit. And it's not just about, you know, what can happen, whether it be negative or positive. It's that they live seeking and thriving like 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 it like, you know, how we need oxygen to breathe. They need the attention that comes with that to breathe. And what I'm trying to say, the terrible thing is, is how normal that's become as a thing that people will just do, you know? You should need to be convinced to share that much of yourself on social media, homie, you know? So to a lot of these girls that are, you know, on Facebook and they looking for stuff about dudes, but they can't find stuff because, hey, man, let's face it, you know, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on, you know, everything else is just like me passively like glancing at the Internet from a window. I make a Twitter account just so I can look around. I got a Facebook account, so a lot of these normie sites that are out here are like, hey, man, make an account. And I'm like, hell nah. And they're like, you can log in with your Facebook. I'll be like, sure. Facebook has exactly the kind of nonsense that you'd be angry trying to trying to figure out <laughs> about me. What the hell is any of this mean? Ridiculous. Throw nine inch nails on my fucking music likes. What? Trent Reznor? <laughs> I'm so tired of being here. You guys got to flail around when you sing. Remember that, okay? Remember. Well, like I said, yeah, the terrible thing about social media is like how normal it is for like straight up babies to see their favorite streamer, to see some gay guy on the internet, you know, look at his hair, look at that makeup. Oh, I need to do that too. I need to get behind a camera and just put all of myself out there. It's normal. Please give me attention. And people are like, I'll give you attention. Just keep, just keep doing what you're doing and show me more. Okay, as long as you don't go. Bruh, it's sick. <laughs> These kids are being conditioned. But most people, you know, it's too late. Did Stripe say check out my travel blog? Is she for real? This girl. <laughs> well, and that's the bottom line. Raphael says, that's my favorite anime, Kyle. Hey, hey, hey. <sighs> mm. Gilly Savard says, shit, I got disconnected from the stream. He was hoping that didn't happen to anybody else. Let's go ahead and uh, roll it up. Number five. Damn, number five is lengthy. My brother was one of those grandiose narcissists. A typical example of his everyday behavior was one time he purchased a can. Sorry, sometimes I feel like I'm reading too fast, but other times I feel like I'm not reading fast enough. It's weird. Okay. A typical example of his behavior, his everyday behavior, was the time that he purchased a can, an uncommon brand of cola, and then bragged for days about it as though he had discovered the cure for cancer or something all because it was not Pepsi or Coke. Those were for common people. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gilly Savard says, show us your best boomer impression, Kyle. Why? Because you don't have the, the gumption to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and go buy another house or another car, get another job. It's easy. It's easy, you slacker. Get a degree in high school, not even, not even college, homie. Get a high school diploma, 
f- fucking fix a car for a year <laughs> and then buy a house. I am boomer. Okay. Simple. Simple. I did it. <laughs> okay. Why can't you? What the fuck? Gilly says, damn, I am honored. <laughs> yo, yo, stripes. Out of context, you're going to get in trouble. This is why the internet isn't a place for jokes anymore. Because if people don't get your reference, you're racist. Did you know that? Did you know that? The joke doesn't even need to be bad. It just needs to be something they don't understand. I don't understand that. And now I am offended. Reported. Disliked. Unsubscribed. Fucking hell. So listen, this dude bought non-name brand coke and was you know up and down the bing bongs like it was the 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 second coming okay he he was he was finding the cure for cancer because it wasn't coke or pepsi my mom would hang on his every word she pretty much lived vicariously through him you see and he could do no wrong in her eyes he could act like a jerk towards me and she would make excuses for him no matter how awful he wears my mouth just feels so dry my mouth just feels so dry. Please. That's how you know it's dry. Where I gotta actually have some of this disgusting water stuff. I should make a stream where I, I get I get like donations per bottle of water I drink until I die. Be pretty rad. water poisoning that'd be a rad stream you think if i just had like a pee a pee bu- bucket and i was peeing at the same rate that i was ingesting look i would be very disgusted with you don't do that pee bucket drinking water this is why i shouldn't have streamed tonight guys i'm sorry i didn't want to leave you hanging but at the same time there are some nights where i'm not supposed to stream man i can't do this my mom would hang on his every word and she pretty much lived vicariously through him and he could do no wrong in her eyes and he'd act like a jerk towards me and she would make excuses for him no matter how awful it was however once when he didn't like the birthday gift that i gave him he acted like i had committed a crime our parents were really against drugs however when my brother decided to grow marijuana in our house wait a minute did you just say marijuana no, you're probably just speeding through it and got to the in our house part. Marijuana in our. Marijuana in. Marijuana in. Okay. Just finish this, dude. Just finish this. Marijuana in our house. Our mom was enthusiastically supportive of it. Well, damn, mom. We didn't know you were that cool. However, okay. A few years later, when I smoked pot and my parents found out, Suddenly, I was the one who ruined Christmas for family. My brother was living 3,000 kilometers away, and when she became gravely ill, I phoned, phoned him and told him that he needed to get here pronto if he wanted to say goodbye. The best he could manage was to come out a week later. She hung on for that week waiting for him to show up. When I would visit her at the hospital and say, I'm here, mom, she would respond, I want your brother. She instructed the hospital staff to not tell me anything. So when I would ask how she was doing, I would get a, that's private information, and it's confidential. Meanwhile, my brother would phone the hospital daily, and they would tell him everything about her care, from the medication she was on, her blood work levels, her treatment, and all that. I could not even get a she slept well last night from the nurses, but he could tell me her blood oxygen levels from 3,000 miles away. Every day that I talked to him, I would ask him if... He could not come out sooner, but he could never get away from work, even though he has one of the highest ranking people at his job. I took care of the house while she was in the hospital. I cleaned up all the diarrhea, did the laundry, took care of the bills, but wasn't a welcome visitor to her bedside. When he finally did show up, he visited her for a short while and said, let's go for lunch to me. She passed away as soon as we stepped out of the hospital. She hung on just to hear him say hello. (laughs) <laughs> that's life that's life but I don't you know I'll be real I'm not sure whether or not to be pleased or displeased with the person writing the story in this instance because sometimes you just gotta sever ties if your mom's a piece of shit and she's a you know 
a, a hypocrite that's a, really just demonstrating favoritism in the in the highest regard you know fuck her she 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 did her job she raised you to an age where you can essentially kind of take care of yourself you know um we are indebted to our parents in a way that we can never really repay but it's sick you know it's sick that you're denying your own son the ability to know how you are you know health wise and if that's the bed you've made then fucking sleep in it do you get what i'm saying i'm sorry i'm not the other youtubers but you should know what the fuck you're in for here and the bottom line is let's be real don't waste your life because you only have one. You could die tomorrow. If your mama don't want you to know how she doing, don't lose sleep over fucking that. You know what I mean? She don't want you to know. You know, wake the fuck up and, and roll on with your life. You got to start the healing somehow, baby. You got to start. You got to you got to close the book and, and move the fuck on, my dude. Because uh, what what can this manifest into other than anger towards the brother and jealousy and you know it'll 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 rot you from the inside out. So you know now that she's dead, I hope that he can. I mean she's dead. Now that she's dead, he can just move the hell on. You know it's a shame because he's the one toiling from what it seems based on based on the small amount of information we have in the story. He's the one toiling, cleaning the house and taking care of things and blah blah blah. But, you know, she wants to recognize the other one. So, you know, let let her have the treatment of the one she wants to recognize. You know, I'm not saying that she um, <laughs> is she posting my wish list with with you, mother. <laughs> oh, my God. Astalion says the mods are so welcoming. It's really sweet. I'll give you a sweet welcome and then I use an emoji that's like that's like Lisa's face yeah wait I'm a mod right I mean I can do what a mod does so it counts it counts <sighs> what makes a, a, a platypus galactic tell me so look I mean this story kind of frustrates me because Imagine that to the dying breath. You're you're wanting someone else's attention. What a thing to say to a child or, you know, your child, not like a child child, but like your son when they come. But the the one you prefer isn't there. <laughs> I want the other one. OK, OK. See you later. I turn into a puppet. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, I'll see you later. Fuck me. Number four. It's interesting, really. My mom died recently. Wait a minute. It's like some kind of plague in this thread. When I called my sister to come down the day before she died, she said, I thought she was going to die today. I'm not disappointed, but I can't keep missing work. <laughs> I mean, women, you can get away with all, with all of it. There's some things you don't say. There's some things you don't say. For everything else. There's MasterCard. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, yo. Hello, Hummingbird. How are you doing? Everything's fine. Whoa. The next day, I called her to come to the hospital again, as the doctor and I made the decision to take her off the ventilator. On the phone, she said, well... Can we pull out the tube as soon as I get there because I have plans tonight? <sighs> she also proceeded to ask me for rent money that day as I also live with her. The things they say and don't realize how messed up it really is are baffling. I think some hoes get used to treatment from some men so they think they can just say anything to everyone bitch your dusty rotten ass is not a, as appealing to some of the fuck boys that are chasing you as you think it is to everybody it'd do everyone to remember that regardless of your gender 
I don't care how spicy and appealing you think you are to most of the little dudes in the in the tadpole ponds that are hopping out at you and trying to get at them ankles when you're walking by, my dude. You got nothing to offer in the long term. And if you, I want you to look in the mirror and look past your physical appearance and look inside yourself. Fuck your interests, fuck your hobbies, fuck your talents. I want you to think about what you have to offer to a stranger. I want to think. I want you to think about what you have to offer to somebody five years from now, my dude. And this isn't like a romantic thing. It's it's not just a platonic thing either. It's like a it's like a does a person want to keep talking to you thing, you know? And you know what it is? Most people aren't even capable of listening. <laughs> so no, you're you're bad companion. Did you know? Did you know you are bad companion? You are not the type of person that most people would want to continue a conversation with and this is the problem. Can you make a person laugh? Probably not. You are awkward. You are weird. You are stupid. You are, you are similar to everybody that you ever meet. You are doing the things that everybody else likes to do. And that makes you basic in a way that, that will only fit in with other people of your variety. Only you. Only you can save the forest. The rainforest that burned down. But maybe you are contributing to it. Oh, le, le. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry. Yeah. My point is, dude. <laughs> if you can only get along with other assholes like you, man. <clears throat> Number three. The sooner you can put distance between yourself and them, the better. My half-sister was 19 years old when I was born. Flipped her shit and told our mom that she was too old to be having kids and that she put me up for adoption, or she should. That started our relationship, where she was vocal about not liking me. Thanks, ma'am. When our mom got terminal cancer and she made me medical proxy because I was the only kid at home and was already a caretaker. The half sister protested and said that it should be her because she's the eldest. She managed to make things whoa, 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 words. She managed to make things about her and not our mom who is fucking fighting stage four cancer. When I gave the order, as per mom's verbal and written wishes to disconnect the life support, the half sister said I killed mom to inherit shit that was already mine. I haven't seen her spoken to her in a decade, and I plan on keeping it that way. You see some people's real colors come out sometimes when people die and they want that inheritance. They want all five of those dollars, you know? <laughs> it's not going to last them a month, but they need it. They need it. Ridiculous. Cut ties, be done. I'm so sick. I'm so sick. The crazy part is, this is exactly what you want on the list, Kyle. It's that real shit, that good good from people dealing with assholes in real life, boy. Uh, I haven't. It's like it's like re reading and remembering. <laughs> it's kind of scary to me, but I think some people need to hear it and remember. Hmm. And remember. Number two, like the video. How about that? Like it's gonna kill you. Here's an instructional, instructional uh, little little tidbit about how to like the video. If you're on a mobile device, right? Just go ahead and tap that thumbs up button. You may have to hide the chat if you have it up for some reason, just to read what people are saying. Because I know the majority of you aren't saying anything for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe, maybe you're just so gangster that you don't have to say anything in the stream chat. Oh, wow, look at you. You can like the video, though. And if you don't, a mosquito will get you tonight. Oh my God, Kyle's chain messages in his streams. Like video or mosquito will get you. Grognax at 56 people watching and eight likes. Again. You're lucky the patrons and the sponsors are as dope as they are. Because when I'm losing my mind pre-streams, I always think to myself, nah, they deserve it. Thank you for the subscription. Ha ha ha. As daz it. Amazing. Number two. When she threw a cup of hot tea at my face because I refused to show her something on the computer, this bitch actually sc scolded your ass. 
or the time that she yelled at me for over an hour because I was really sick and had thrown up all over the bathroom sink. The same bathroom that she had just cleaned. Who is this, your mom? I stopped talking to her about over seven years ago. I think this is a sibling though, because I think it's all about siblings. That's so sad. <sighs> you know, that's pretty sad. Man. That's what happens, I suppose. Jeff Madison says, Evening, Kyle. Trying to like your videos is a matter of habit, since you always make me laugh, fam. Okay, well, here's hoping that you can do this habitually. I believe in you, Michael Davis, the man, the myth, the mod. You know all of my mods in here have something insane about them. Hello, Obsidian Jacob. And it's that they're not gay, you know? Mods are supposed to be gay by nature, you know? They're supposed to be power hungry, crazy. Punderful kiddo says, my sister outed me to my mom and also tried murdering me. There's a whole lot that she's done. Wow, that sucks. Gilly said, shit, I guess I can't be a mod. Oh, please. Icky says, oh, that's why I'm not a mod, I understand now. <laughs> Wait. Don't forget detonators. Did you mean donators? Because you wrote detonators. Are you on your phone? Did it, did it autocorrect you and you thought, that's better? Sometimes that happens to me. And I go, I know what it says. This version's better. Don't forget the detonators. Beep. Like, why is the pitch increasing? Beep faster, don't increase the pitch. That's super anxiety inducing. Dia, check it out. Beep, 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 I just want to smack I can't do it high. Oh, no. You're like, you're like an alarm clock, and I hate it. Stop. Weep, weep. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's so childish. Okay, okay. I had my fun. That's the most fun I had all this. <laughs> Number one. I can finish this. My God, this is lengthy. Oh, write me a life story, why don't you? Mm, who lives in a... Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. You better believe we're flying through this. My brother was diagnosed with NPD at the age of 16. He's never had empathy. Children learn empathy at some point, but it was like he never reached that developmental stage. He was unconcerned with people getting hurt. He hit and bullied others in school to get what he wanted. Doctors, therapists, and medication, nothing made a difference. And it's not like there was some kind of trauma or a reason for the behavior. It's like he was just born wrong. When he was 10, he started taking and dealing drugs. A drug runner from some older teens, you can't be prosecuted under 14 in Germany. Boy, it's like that in a lot of places. My parents called our version of CPS for help. Thank you, Gilly. I appreciate this. Canadian donation. Canadian, Canadian, Canadian donation. Why are you why are you banging on the You really need to you really need to get this shit. Alice Blessing said you scared my poor cat. I'm so sorry about the beeps. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the uh <laughs> I was really trying to go higher and I realized I couldn't. Damn vocal cords. <laughs> Damn. My parents called our version of CPS for help and he got more therapy, some inpatient stays, and his own social worker. He stole my dad's car when he was 12 years old and got picked up by the police. He got his first charges at 14, drugs and assault. Damn. My parents were at their wit's end and agreed to have him placed in a group home for troubled teens for a year. He was kicked out shortly before the year was up, and he came home and seemed to recognize in a clinical, detached kind of way that he couldn't go on like this without ending up in prison. He was about 15 years old and he started being less violent, but he had delusions, insane delusions of grandeur, needed everyone to comply with whatever he wanted, and if they didn't, he would lash out. 
My parents still made him go to therapy, and he assaulted my dad and choked him because he didn't want to. My brother was 16, but also 6'3", and about 190 pounds. My dad died from a sudden aneurysm when he was 16? Uh... Can't that happen to any of us at any time? Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't want to think about it. Oh my god, it can happen to any of us at any time. Uh, it's a genuine. Jesus, it scares the hell out of me. Okay. Okay. My, my dad died from a sudden aneurysm when he was 16 and he went completely off the rails he got a girl pregnant and she was kicked out by her mom my mom took her in the girl was not a bad person just had some issues mm -hmm. so it wasn't that surprising that she date my brother who could be charming if he if the situation demanded it he beat her up at our house a couple of months later while she was still pregnant that was the last straw for my mom. She kicked my brother out. We helped the girl to find an apartment for her and the baby. Unsurprisingly, my mom caved a short while later and let my brother move back in. Oh my god. Sorry, I was squishing my eyeball in that socket. He seemed to think he was the head of the household. My parents never married. So my father's modest possessions went to me and my brother instead of my mom. And that included the car my dad bought a year before he died. It was the first brand new car he ever bought, a small one, but he was so proud of it. My brother made my mom sell it so he could get his half of the money. It wasn't even an expensive one. And my mom was devastated to lose my dead dad's car. I was 20 years old then, my brother was 17. He was verbally abusive and basically tortured my mom mentally. He threatened to hit me on a daily basis whenever I didn't do something or give him a something that he wanted. He also threatened to kill me a couple of times. On a particularly bad day, he told mom that he'd have no trouble to get a couple of guys to run her off the road when she went out. When the threats got stale, he'd beat me up every couple of weeks. There's only one thing, there's only one thing that would make me this quiet. And it's a thought that I know that I shouldn't utter on a stream. But if it were me in that situation. There's one particular instance where I was actually afraid he was going to kill me. He did his usual spiel of using me as a verbal punching bag because he had a bad day. And I was just burnt out. Didn't even react anymore. He hit me a couple of times and choked me. No idea how, but I fought him off. Grabbed my phone, ran to the bathroom where I locked myself in before he could get to me again. He was trying to beat down the door while I called the police, and the cops did nothing. Boy, take matters into your own hands. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sick of this. Everybody needs to sleep. The Kyle channel does not condone uh, random acts of violence, but it does condone self-defense. And if the police will do nothing, and there's genuinely like a life-threatening thing going on, hmm, how he fell on he fell on his knife. Told me he lived there, so we'd have to get along. And since we both said opposing things, nothing would come of it. I insisted that they take my fucking statement. My mom wasn't home at the time, but she was a wreck anyway and couldn't deal anymore. A couple of days later, my aunt came to visit for a couple of hours. My brother was his charming, manipulative self for her. My aunt tried to pressure me into not pressing charges since apparently I gave myself the dozens of bruises and contusions that I had as my brother had told her. I was severely suicidal at that point and gave my mom an ultimatum, me or him. So she kicked him out again. He came back a year later and I moved out for college immediately. I don't blame my mom much anymore, rocking a hard place and all that, but she never could understand the fact that her love for her son was misplaced. He didn't have the things that made people human. 
He had no empathy, he was not capable of love, he was just an empty shell that went through life trying to get whatever pleasures he so desired, by whatever means necessary. I haven't spoken to or seen him in about seven years, but my mom's still in contact with him. He went to Spain when the mother of his daughter tried to get child support. My God. Sometimes my mom still talks about the things he's done. A couple of examples. For some reason, his ex-girlfriend started letting him see his daughter, and she flies to Spain with my mom once or twice a year. Or used to. He locked her in the basement with an adult-sized portion of food she threw up on because she couldn't eat anymore. She was four. She doesn't want to go visit him anymore. He withheld rent from his Spanish landlord for six months, and the landlord had terminal cancer, and my brother saw it as a waste to give him money as he was a dying man. He married a girl in Spain and had another kid, and he now makes a living as a realtor. From what I've heard, he still thinks he's God's gift to mankind. I don't think I'd even go to a funeral if he died. Exhausting. Exhausting. Sergeant informs officer he's not following the law. According to a person in the comments, cop hating in the comments can apparently get subs quarantined. Let's not take any chances. Hmm. An interesting thing. You don't want to get quarantined, do you? Only agreeing with cops in this comment section. <laughs> Not safe for work. Can't click that. 69 upvotes. Now we're carrying. What? <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed tonight's list. I feel feel a bit deader than usual. Not as dead inside as whoever bags under their eyes is, you know. Sometimes you 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 have to wonder if it's like a real woman you're dealing with or one of these MTFs, but this looks altogether just like an older lady. God bless her. God bless those older ladies. What's sad, though, is that you can tell that there's essentially nothing going on in the chess department. So they might as well be a younger dude. I mean, you didn't have to preemptively flip us all off just because you're putting something on roast me. You're asking for this, you know? So, into the comment section. We grow. The top comment reads, If you peel the thick skin off... There is a depressed male skeleton under there. Oh my god. Ah! Look, I look I didn't I didn't just come out and say it's a man, but you know, I, what do you what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You got a cock and balls down there. See, I know I know MTFs that go out and get implants, you know. So at least they're trying to sell it, you know. They're they're like <laughs> with a real woman, you know, she'll say, "My face is up here. I know you like my sweet titties." But uh with a male to female, you know, they're all like, "Um, my titties are down here. Hello. You better enjoy my smoke screen." I know you want it in the bedroom. I know you want what I got. Yeah. Sorry, scary. Huh? 
if there's one thing she's good at, it's making bone structures depressed. Oh my god. Did Ed Sheeran get a botched sex change? Oh my god. Oh snap! <laughs> if you put any less effort into your appearance, you'd remove blind people from your dating pool. Oh my god. You seem like the kind of person who doesn't believe in soap or deodorants because it's not natural. Master has given Dobby a sock. Oh my god. Wasn't that one of my thumbnails recently? Is it still there? Yeah, it says you give Dobby clothing. Stop. Uh, we gotta get out of here. All the references are coming full circle. It's coming full circle. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have an amazing evening. Okay. Stay fun. Stay classy. Whoa, Nathan Fillion's gonna be in James Gunn's Suicide Squad. That sounded like a fun movie. Ugh. What actress has the biggest titties? I want her as um as Harley Quinn. Come on. Come on. Who's in it so far? Let's take a look. Mm. The actor's role is being kept under wraps. Wow, there's Destiny nerds in here. Check out all 200 of our upvotes. There's dozens of us. Okay, guys. I want you to have an amazing evening. I'll be here for you. Um, get a hold of me. Jump into the Discord. Um, Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Hot amateur anal reason with two. Okay, it's enough. So, guys, I'll see you. Um, what's Chelsea about? She's a soccer player. No thanks. Accidental Kubrick. Hell yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Guys, I want you to have a wonderful evening. Like the video before you go. And um, uh, go post some videos of mine on Reddit. Find a short video that you think is like my best video. And throw that at Reddit. You know, some jackass with a Yoda puppet. Ridiculous. Something like that. Bye. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Special thanks to my patrons. And uh, a special thanks to my sponsors wow thank you for clicking that join button i'm here every day for you i'll see you guys next time young now i'm kidding bye i love you